All hail King Jesus, all hail Emmanuel, King of kings, Lord of lords, the bright morning star. And God is calling all of us to worship Jesus, hail Jesus as King. In the gospel according to Matthew chapter 1, verse 2 to 3, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Matthew chapter 2 verse 10 to 11, When the Magi saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened the treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. When the wise men saw the star at the birth of Jesus, they were overjoyed. They went to the home where Jesus was born, bowed down and worshipped to King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus is worthy to be worshipped and that's why the wise men worshipped Jesus Christ. Here are people who are non-Jewish people who came from the East coming and worshipping Jesus for the very first time. So when Jesus was born, it was not the Jews who worshipped him for the very first time. It was the Gentiles, the wise men. And what a privilege God has given to us, to you and I, to bow down before Jesus and to hail him as king and worship the king of kings and the lord of lords as the king and the lord of our life. Towards the end of every gospel, Jesus is asked this question, are you the king of the Jews? To which Jesus answered, you have rightly said so. Jesus is king and this king is worthy to be worshipped. Heavens above and the earth below, the angels and whole of mankind bow down and worship Jesus Christ. Do you worship Jesus Christ as king today? In the gospels we can find that people from every walk of life worship Jesus. Women with bad reputation, people who are outcasts in the society, the tax collectors, the sinners, they all came down to Jesus and they worshipped him. The fishermen, even the Pharisees sometimes came and worshipped Jesus as king. And this king is worthy to be worshipped. He deserves our worship because he is the creator God. He is the king of kings and the lord of lords. Because of Jesus, everything that is, is made today. And this king came down on that first Christmas day in a town called Bethlehem, born in a very humble way. When kings are born in palaces, when kings are born in prestigious homes, this king chose to be born in a humble home in Bethlehem. And this king took the form of a servant. He served his disciples. He served the people and he died for us. He gave up his life for us. He rose again on the third day, ascended to God the Father, and he still lives, and Jesus is worthy to be worshipped. We have seen an eventful year of coronavirus care. Many people have lost their lives. Many people have lost their jobs. But through it all, it's God's grace that has brought us thus far. My brother, my sister, let us not forget to worship Jesus. Because... This life is short. People will come, people will go. Jobs may come and jobs may go. But Jesus endures forever. He has established an eternal kingdom. And one day he will come in glory and establish his kingdom. And every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. But today is an opportune time for us to worship this king, Jesus the Lord. On that Christmas day, when Jesus was born, it was only the wise men coming from the east that bowed down and worshipped Jesus Christ. But today, it's an opportunity for us to receive Jesus as Lord and worship Jesus as King. May God bless you and give you a blessed season. Amen.